Toronto was a very tragic figure in the history of Pakistan. She remained loyal to her husband throughout her life. She struggled side by side with him for the overthrow of dictatorship in Pakistan. She helped establish democratic rule, democratic constitution in Pakistan. She <clears throat> was a great help, I know, in, in the house, great help to Zulfikar Ali Bhutto. In his day-to-day -day life, he trusted her enormously and, and trusted her advice also. Often she would say, he would say to me, Dr. Saab, if I do this, Nusrat is going to fight with me. So uh, she did not become an office holder of PPP until late in Mr. Bhutto's government when she was made MNA. That did not remain for long. Zulfakar Ali Bhutto was judicially murdered and then the entire responsibility of the party fell on Nusrat. She went underground. She worked in the interest of the party. She kept the party together. Workers were hanged, detained, beaten up publicly. Nusrat Bhutto traveled in a, with, with, a, with a burqa on. I remember when she came to Lahore, we put her up at a friend's house in Cavalry Ground. So she helped those protesting workers who had left Pakistan and gone out of the country. So that was a great job. She was beaten up in Lahore by Ziaulak's police. She was wounded. There was face on her blood. All this went on. Then she, her life got, political life got clouded when Benazir became chairperson because she changed the entire policy for which Zulfakar Ali Bhutto and his wife Nusrat Bhutto had stood for. Zulfakar Ali Bhutto was anti-imperialist. Zulfakar Ali Bhutto wanted supremacy of the civil over the military. Zulfakar Ali Bhutto was <coughs> pro-people, pro-labor, pro-farmer. Benazir's policy was just the opposite. Benazir was, became pro-American. She agreed to serve under the army. And she was pro-industrialist pro and pro-Jagidar. So, Begum Bhutto was removed from political life of Pakistan. She was kept in Dubai. And in the, and the party's character was was changed. Zulfikar Ali Bhutto was not Begum Bhutto was not allowed to meet her grandchildren. And we find that uh, at long last she suffered. She was really a Muslim woman who suffered tremendously after the demise of her husband. Right, Dr. Mubashir Hassan, thank you very much for...